All right, hey everybody, I'm Mackie coming at you from my self-publishing blueprint, and in today's video, I am gonna show you a new way of doing keyword research. <music> keyword research is by far one of the most challenging parts um, for authors, for self-publishers alike, and with Publisher Rocket, their new and updated platform, um, and some of the new algorithms and things, you know, the nuts and bolts of how it works, it has made keyword research so much easier going forward for 2019 and 2020. Um, so let's dive in and I'm actually gonna show you some, some keywords that I've published books in as well so you can actually, you know, basically steal these, go publish some books and go make some money here. So let's dive into it. So first off, what is Publisher Rocket? Publisher Rocket, it was formerly called KDP Rocket is a tool by Dave Chesson. And one of my favorite parts of this tool is Dave is constantly updating it and improving it uh, as time goes on, as Amazon changes. In fact, right before I was filming this video, I was talking to him and he's like, hold on, I got a whole bunch of updates that are gonna be coming out over the next little bit. Um, do you wanna know about them? I'm like, I'll just film another video when those updates come on. So it's a, it's a one-time purchase, link in the description for, uh, for the, uh, to, to pick it up if you want, but I definitely, definitely suggest this tool. Let's dive into the keyword research. So this is what the platform looks like. You're gonna click keyword. We're gonna do computer uh, programming. So computer programming, you can now pick book or ebook, doesn't really matter. I still just do ebook and uh, just go with that. And awesome, all right, so you can see I've kind of already done a little bit of work here, but it's gonna pull up and it's gonna pull up uh, a whole bunch of blanks and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna hit um, analyze and it's gonna pull in this data for you. So let me explain what all of this means. So this is the number of competitors, so the number of actual books on Amazon with this keyword, computer programming. Their average monthly earnings, the Google searches per month, estimated Amazon searches per month, and then competitive score. The only columns I really look at are competitive score, estimated Amazon searches, and average monthly earnings. For average monthly earnings, I'm looking for keywords that are producing more than $100 a month. $100 a month, super solid book. So I want the average earnings more than $100. Estimated searches, anywhere around or above the 700, 750 mark, over a thousand is great. Definitely less than a hundred means there's just not enough searches there. Competitive score, anything below 75 is really good. It, it, it's good to get into. Above 75, it's just, it's a little too competitive. Um, maybe for some of you more advanced publishers, you could you could do it do it with AMS and, you know, better, t better uh, covers and, and all of that. But let's, so we're gonna take a look at some of these books here. So, so this one, right, competitive score 10, average monthly earnings 1,000, which is super hot, but look at this, right? Less than 100 searches. So what I would do with this, I'd actually kind of keep this MATLAB keyword in the back burner and probably do a bit more research into that. I'm not gonna do that for this video, but just because the average monthly earnings are so high and the competitive score is so low, I might wanna, find out, hey, maybe there's something to do with this keyword or find a way to rank for that keyword and steal some of the traffic. Um, but here's here's one that uh, I like. So the competitive score, 55. So it's below 75, what we want. Average monthly earning or average estimated searches on Amazon a month, eight, almost 1,000, eight, uh, 982, okay? And then average monthly earnings over 100, 357. And there's only 18, 1,800 other books. So computer programming concepts, that is a book I do have published. So that is definitely something I'd go after, 100%. Uh, you can also go here and click on competition. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna bring up all the other books, right? It's gonna bring up the books and you can kind of check them out, get a bit more detail there. You got the BSR. Right, if you're still going with you know top six under 100,000 type of thing, if that's what you're still using there, it tells you if the keyword is in the title, subtitle, uh, which is not as relevant anymore. But uh, yeah, so it tells you a whole bunch of other data as well. 
Um, the main stuff that I just went over for you, that's kind of what I like to focus on there. You can also go into like um, competition analyzer, com uh, category search, and then of course, if you are running your AMS ads, um, this is a no brainer to have for AMS ads because it allows you to get thousands of keywords in seconds um, to, to start rank ranking your books with. But one other thing that I wanna talk about is like, Take, for example, that MATLAB keyword that we found here. So it might not get a ton of searches right now, but I would take this keyword um, and I'd put that in the seven keyword slots to make sure that my book is going to show up for that particular keyword. And, um, you know, it's a key thing that you want to do is find other profitable keywords that might work. You know, this one, it's 80. It's not below 75, but get some good searches, make some good money. So I definitely make sure I have Python, you know, in if I'm not doing a programming book on Python, make sure I'm ranking for that keyword Python um, because it's relatable and it is, it is a profitable keyword. So I like to use it for a lot of different things, but keyword research is not so black and white anymore. But this is one of the ways we've been using um, Publisher Rocket over the last little bit. So I wanted to do a quick video, show you what I've been doing with it. If you have any questions, make sure you hit me up in the comments. Don't forget, you can pick up Publisher Rocket. There's a link in the description, one-time payment. And uh, yeah, get started with your keyword research today.